Oh, oh, oh! That's my girlfriend. That's my woman. Black Widow was directed by Kate Shortland and stars Scarlett Johansson, David Harbour, Rachel Wise. And the story follows the elusive agent Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow, as she confronts her dark past. What's going on guys and welcome back once again to The Ripster, where movies and entertainment are our reputation, yo. <laughs> So, going into Black Widow and hearing about this movie, this project, for a couple of years now, I didn't really have that much high hopes. I've seen her countless of times, I've seen every single one of the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, and I've always pictured her as being the side character, just like Hawkeye. So, when they announced the Black Widow movie, I was a little skeptical. But it wasn't bad. After watching it, it wasn't bad. So, without further ado, let's get into the positives of Black Widow. It still felt legit. It felt like it was still a part of the MCU. This actually makes the first in Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It still felt legit. It was still a side character. Don't get me wrong. I liked what Black Widow brought to the table in the MCU thus far. But knowing that there's a movie out there of that... I don't know. But, again, after seeing the movie, it still wasn't bad. It still felt like a, leg a legit Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. I just never held up that character as, like, a grand character. And it still felt like a comic book movie. It still had that comic book edge. See, I never doubted that because the action was actually pretty decent. There are some good action scenes in this. It was solid. It still had some edge-of-your-seat tense moments. It still had some edge-of-your-seat moments and thrills. And the direction of story, I actually liked where they went with this. As everybody know in Avengers Endgame, she dies. So they pretty much had to make this kind of like a prequel was actually set between a Civil War and Infinity War. Which really made sense. It really made sense for the story. Because as everybody knows that these MCU movies are well known for doing this, you get little hints of the timeline of right after Civil War and just before Infinity War. And you get a bunch of dialogue that hints at that. And I've always, that's what I've always loved about these movies. Because they share a universe, of course. Kate Shortland directed this film, and this was the only one I've seen of her. I don't really recognize her other work, I've searched it. I've never really seen or heard of any of the other stuff she did. But she did really good in this. She really caught my eye on how well she directed this. And how good she choreographed the action scenes and the way the film was just shot overall. It was actually really good. It was a nice little setup scene at the beginning where you have this little 1995 clip where it shows Natasha Romanoff and her sister as kids. And all the stuff that they had to go through leading right up into the beginning credits which was really slick, and it really brought the whole perspective of what you were getting into, and I like that. I like it when they use beginning credits as a way to move the movie along. Yeah, I remember hearing one of the directors that I watched a commentary for, I forget which one it was, I think it was a recent movie, but he actually stated that he doesn't like it when beginning credits just stop. You see a black screen and it says who made it and this and that, who makes it and this and that. But in this, it actually moved it forward as it was telling you who was making it. I've always held that higher of movies that I watch than the ones that just goes like black and just doesn't really do anything for the continuation in them and like it moves on. You know, I've always held those movies higher than the other ones. And that's what this movie did for me. It really gave that moving forward motion, I guess you could call it. <laughs> and you got a solid cast. Scarlett Johansson, as usual, brought her all. You know, unfortunately, this will be the last we'll see of her because, you know, well, we'll get to that again. But again, you know, it's just one of those movies that you just have to appreciate because you know it's not really going to happen again because of 
unfortunate events. But Scarlett Johansson is was really good in this. She really shined, and yeah, that's my girlfriend. <laughs> you also got David Harbour as the Red Guardian, and I gotta tell you, every time he was on the screen, I busted out laughing. He was like, you know how I said Tyrus Gibson was the movie clown for the Furious movies? Well, I think David Harbour was the movie clown for this one. He really shined when he was on the screen. I mean, he was, he was terrific. I don't know if Hellboy did any damage to his career, but phew, that one did really horrible. And I hopefully that this movie will set that straight for his career. I know he's also in that Stranger Things show, which I've never seen yet. But, he, I mean, he shines in other stuff. I know that. But after the disaster that was Hellboy, that would probably ruin anybody's careers. And hopefully this movie, if nothing else, set that straight and... Again, he was terrific in this movie. Like I said, I busted out laughing every time. Rachel Wise was gold. I don't even think I've seen her in anything. This is how far by, behind I am with her stuff because she just hadn't been in much stuff that I watch. But the last time I seen Rachel Wise, really, was the Brendan Fraser Mummies. I know. I know. That's how far behind I am. She just hadn't really caught my appeal since those movies, but she did really good in this, and I hope they cast her in more stuff. And even Florence Pugh was really great as Natasha as Black Widow's sister. She was she was pretty good too. There's this whole family dining scene, which you kind of get a glimpse of in the trailer, where you think it was going to be cringy, but it actually turned out to be quite good. I mean, it was some laughable moments in there, and it really just set the movie up for the type of characters these were. I mean, you have Natasha Romanoff, you have her sister, you have the Red Guardian, and Rachel Wise character, which is kind of like their adoptive parents. It, it was pretty good the way they drew that scene out. It was pretty, it was pretty, pretty cute. This movie definitely had its moments, but it wasn't perfect. But then again, what movie is? There are very few movies that are actually perfect, but some are. But this wasn't one of them, unfortunately. So let's dive into the negatives. The villains. Oh my god. They were weak. They were just plain weak. I didn't feel a thing whenever they showed up. You got Taskmaster, who all he did was just... He, he was just there. I mean, for no other reason. I didn't get nothing from him. And not to mention the main villain... He doesn't even show up until like the last, until the third act, until the last bit of it. I mean, usually in movies when you introduce villains of any sort, you've got to build up to it. you got to show them more. you got to, you know, show what their motive is and really hate them. And I didn't really feel that for them, for any of them. It just, it, that was a big, that was a big letdown. Black Widow has its ups and downs, but if you want to go out with your friends or family and turn your brain off and no one would blame you because it is an acquired taste. Black Widow is entertaining. It's entertaining enough. It's not the best. You had, you had some ups and downs before in the MCU, but it's not the best. It's just one of those that I felt like that was just made. And I think they realized mis their mistake because I think they were wanting to make it before. Either that or they should have made it before, but then they realized their mistake. So that's why they, you know, first of all, they had to do it in a timeline that was before because now that she's, you know, demised. But I think they realized their mistake. If they had come out with this several years earlier, I felt like it probably had a would have had a little bit of a better, bigger impact on me, at least, anyway. So, Black Widow, what was your thoughts on it? Did you like it? Did you think it was good? Did you enjoy it? Or do you, do you think it shouldn't have existed at all? Leave me a comment down below and give me your thoughts. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, as always. And I will see you on the next one. Peace, the rep.